Today, we're going to show how MoveWorks can automate common tasks in the business. Let's start with adding somebody to a distribution group. I'm going to look up and say, can you look if any of my direct uh, direct reports are not on the sales DL? What's happening is that MoveWorks is kicking off plugins, in this case, looking at the people registry for the folks that interact with me. They're then looking at the membership status of this particular DL. There are multiple DLs, therefore it's clarifying which one I'm referencing. So I'm gonna say the second one. We'll retain to context one step to the next. Therefore users can naturally interact with our solution to be able to find information. In this case, it's looking up my direct reports against the sales EMEA distribution list. And once it's complete, it'll reach back out to me. Nobody's on the list. Therefore, I'm going to go ahead and add them all. MoveWorks allows you to search and act, while also accounting for the fact that multiple tools might be needed to solve a problem. This allows us to interact with the user naturally while providing them the ability to automate tasks, especially in situations where they're not experts. Everybody knows that there's email distribution lists. However, it's infrequent. Therefore, they need a reasoning engine that assists them throughout the journey in an autonomous way that does not require teams to build lengthy dialogue flows or to build lengthy prompts. Once it's complete, it's going to reach out to me while also following the business process. Note that it's created the ticket in the ticketing system. It's currently looking if there's any approvals. The approval has been completed and therefore it will follow up with me once the groups have been added while notifying all the employees who are just added to this distribution group. Let's think of a common use case that happens across the board, trying to plan for vacation. I'm gonna say I would like to take a vacation for the week of Memorial Day. And I'd like to see if I have enough PTO. There's a couple things that have to happen here. One, it needs to understand if I have enough PTO, kicking off our PTO balance workday plugin. It's let me know how much hours I have. Is this enough for a week off? Interacting with the message to allow the solution to provide me insights. It says a week is generally 40 hours, so 120 hours is just enough. Therefore, I'm going to go and say, great, can you book it the Memorial Day week? Searching and interacting with data is one thing, but actually completing the action is what the users are looking for. In this case, it's filling in the details of our conversation, saying that we want to take time off from May 27th to the 31st, and all I have to do is confirm before it updates Workday and then updates my calendar, letting me know that the vacation has been booked. How would a common finance request? People always want to know what they're owed based off of company travel. Therefore, we're going to show how users can interact with Concur to get this information. So I'm going to come and say, can you look up my expense reports? And while you're at it, can you tally it up? I wanna know what I intend to get once the expense reports are all processed. In this case, looking up the expense reports and then leveraging the benefits of generative AI to be able to interact with data and perform the calculation. Notice it has responded with my five reports, including the total. Also notice it includes the references, showing the data lookups and where it got that information. So you can see my trip to New York was not paid. There's a comment, and then there's an actual reference to the exact spot that we're pulling this information from. That is going to be key so that users know that the information they're presented is correct. Let's put our subject matter expert hat on. I'm an oper IT operations manager, and I want to provision a server. Therefore, I want to use a co-pilot to assist me. I'm going to come in and ask for a VM. Can you help me provision a VM server?
we're going to be interacting with the Azure API. And we need to provide some more details before doing the full end-to-end -end provisioning process. For instance, the name of the project and the operating system. So I'm going to come in and say uh, the project name is MoveWorks Prod. And the OS should be Windows, providing the information that's necessary before it can complete the transaction. Notice how quick all of these responses are, even though they're powered by generative AI. MoveWorks leverages a series of machine learning models, some of which are fine-tuned for performing individual tasks, which allows us to improve latency of the overall experience. We get the benefits of generative AI to assist us at determining the sequence of plugins required to complete an action. It allows us to summarize it in a friendly way, but we're also able to use other plugins for things like toxicity filtering, domain classification, triaging, and other notable tasks that are required for creating this solution while not having the same challenges that you have with generative models. Let's switch gears and talk about a procurement use case while also touching on the fact that information is being updated on the back end. Imagine I'm an IT finance manager and I want to update a purchase order with new information. I'm going to come in and say, do I have any POs? People may not know the specific IDs they're looking for. Therefore, they're leveraging MoveWorks to find the information for them. In this case, looking Coop for the answer. And let me know that, yes, I do have one. Um, it was created on March 27, 2024, and the status is ordered. Great. I have an opportunity to add some information to this. So I go ahead and say, can you um, add a line item to the above uh, POID? It's calling my PO line item use case and note it's leveraging the information of my previous PO. It needs some more details before it can complete the action. So I'm gonna say that I would like to add 30 Windows Surf Surface Pro 9s at $800. Is gathered all the information it needs. I'm going to confirm. And it will let me know when it's complete. In this case, I'm going to show what's happened on the back end system so you can get an appreciation for how we've simplified the user experience. It's been successfully added. So when I go over to Concur, or sorry, Koopa, and I refresh the page, we're gonna look for that update. We're gonna look for our Windows Surface Pro 9s, you can see the uh, price as well as the number of items. Showing we can simplify the user experience, especially for those that may not be experts at leveraging the Coupa solution. Let's show another example. How about one that will pull from lengthy policy documentation to provide me concise answers? I'm interested in knowing what's the office attire and work hours. Rather than looking through our HR handbook, MoveWorks is going to search for the information. It's going to summarize it into a concise answer. And like I've showed before, you're going to be able to take a look at exactly where the information is being pulled from. So I'm going to go ahead and click, click, and you'll see that this info is coming from the employee handbook and the corporate policies. And you can see it summarized my answer. It's from nine to five, and then, um, Uh, we also allow for a casual environment for folks that are coming to our business. We're going to put on one last SME hat on. This is going to be the sales rep who's looking up information on their accounts. So I'm going to say, who is the rep on Acme? Um, Salesforce has tons of great information. Um, some of it is not easily accessible. Therefore, allowing MoveWorks to pull the information can be great. So it's looking to see who is Acme first and then providing me details about who owns them. So in the first case, I'm interested in the first one. 
that's owned by Evan. But I'd also like to see if I can see other information associated with this one, such as, can you tell me the ARR? Hundred thousand. Note that all the information associated with this record becomes available for multi-turn conversations, allowing me to naturally get data out of these core systems. Lastly, not everything can be solved by somebody. Therefore, I'm going to ask to get in touch with somebody. Can I get in touch with someone? I've escalated this. We're looking to get in contact, either logging a ticket or live chat. So we want to show how easy this can be facilitated. In this case, when I say get help, it's going to offer all the support streams that we have as a company. Now, this is an enterprise solution. Therefore, we can route issues to IT, HR, facilities, finance, and more. In this case, we simply say we want to file a ticket and provide the detail. I would like some help um, unlocking an account. And we're going to create the ticket so it can be routed to the right personnel. Now, how do you make MoveWorks more capable? Well, there's multiple options to consider. One is leveraging data to figure out what will make the most impact, either investing in automation or building more content. In this case, I'm using a solution called Employee Experience Insights that leverages machine learning to auto-classify data. It helps me slice and dice and cluster common issues so that we can think through motions to improve the user experience. So I'm gonna look at our, in all of our employees, specifically the sales department, and our incidents. Incidents often are non-structured, therefore these are the ones that we benefit the most from auto-classifying. I'm interested in the software troubleshooting use cases, and I'm looking at the top platforms, Teams, Salesforce, Outlook. When I look at Teams, we can see that some folks are having issues getting the Teams plugin to work with Outlook. Now you have multiple options here. You could build some automation to help troubleshoot but often a low cost way to improve service experiences is to create a knowledge article. So we're gonna use another solution called Knowledge Studio to help generate this from scratch. If I come and place that information into our box, we're gonna be able to leverage generative AI to start to create these knowledge articles. Note, we can retain context. So if I wanna say make it shorter or add a section for other people's phones, or potentially even translate this to Canadian French, we're able to leverage this technology to create the right type of article for us. I'm gonna add it to the editor and we can continue to edit. Now, one of the benefits of Knowledge Studio is that it has access to your ticketing data. One of the great things for accessing your ticketing data is that it provides suggestions for knowledge gaps. It knows the type of questions that come into the service desk daily, it knows the articles that have been written. Therefore, it can let you know where you have gaps and take it a step further. Go ahead and create a potential template. Now, how do we increase the accuracy of these templates? Well, we're going to use context from your actual ticketing experience, seeing what actual service desk agents did as context to create higher quality content. Now, we always recommend human in the loop, therefore, Somebody who's familiar with the email retention policy will review this, but we're able to improve the accuracy and also decrease the time to create these capabilities substantially. So in summary, MoveWorks assists companies at automating common tasks and also has created a plethora of tools to help you identify areas of improvement while also uh, improving the speed to deliver new capabilities. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.